hi everyone and welcome in the previous couple of videos we have covered that how to set up basic mqtt broker in the node mcu board using s mqtt broker library also we have covered that how to set up secure mqtt broker in the node mcu board using s mqtt broker library with username and password authentication now in this video we will see how to set up secure mqtt broker again in the node mcu board with wi-fi access point using s mqtt broker library so what is the difference between these two video so let me uh, clear this with the diagram so this is the diagram for the previous video and this is the diagram for this video okay which we are going to do now so in the previous video our node mcu board which is going to be act as a mqtt broker it will connect with any external wi-fi and then after mqtt client software can access the node mcu mqtt broker but now in this video instead of using any external wi-fi or any external LAN communication medium we are going to set up the wi-fi access point or wi-fi hotspot in the node mcu board so our node red python raspberry pi or any other dashboard can directly connect with our node mcu board okay and they can exchange the data using node mcu mqtt broker so we are just removing the external wi-fi dependency okay so now onwards we don't have to use any external wi-fi we can directly use the wi-fi access point of our node mcu board to provide mqtt broker services to our mqtt client software okay so let's see how you can do that and let's see after uploading the code in the node mcu board how you can access the node mcu broker with all of the software so here is the code okay which i have already created and i will provide this code by the end of this video or you can also check out the description for this code now in this code you have to change the few things so here you have to change your mqtt client username and password so whenever your client suppose whenever your node red client is trying to connect with our esp8266 board then they have to provide the password okay to access the mqtt broker services so this is the password for the mqtt broker services okay this is not the wi-fi ssid and password okay which we are going to set up in the node mcu board okay so this is the mqtt broker username and password okay to connect with mqtt broker services okay so you have to change this username and password as per your requirement okay so i hope this thing is clear and then after you have to scroll down and here you can see soft access point wi-fi soft access point and here is the ssid of the wi-fi which we are going to set up in the node mcu board and here is the password of the hotspot which we are going to set up in the node mcu board okay so you have to use this ssid and password to connect with node mcu wi-fi and here is the mqtt port details okay so our mqtt broker will be available on the port 1883 if you want to use any other tcp port for your mqtt broker then you can change the number here and here is the ip address details okay so we are going to fix our mqtt broker ip address to this ip address 192.168.4.1 you can change it as per your requirement it's up to you whatever you want to set it here for the demo i have used these details okay so first of all you have to change your mqtt broker uh, access details okay username and password then after you have to set up your wi-fi access point ssid and password then after you have to set your mqtt broker tcp port number and then you have to set up your ip address of your node mcu board okay so let's upload this code into our node mcu board and let's see step by step that how you can connect with the wi-fi and how you can access the mqtt broker after that so here is my node mcu board is already connected i'm going to upload this code into my node mcu board okay so we have successfully uploaded the code in the node mcu board now i'm going to open the serial monitor and i'm going to press the reset button in my node mcu board and here you can see access point ip address 192.168.4.1 which we have already specified here 192.168.4.1 and uh, if you search for available wi-fi then you will find this wi-fi in your wi-fi networks okay so if i search for the available wi-fi around me okay then you will see mqtt broker access point wi-fi so let me turn it off 
and let me turn it on again and here you can see MQTT broker access point okay so we can connect with this MQTT broker access point using this password so I'm going to copy this password and we can connect with MQTT broker access point connect automatically I have previously tested it and the password is already stored so that's why this isn't asking for the password okay so but but in your case you have to provide this password to connect with MQTT broker access point okay we are successfully connected there is no internet available but we are connected with our node mcu wi-fi access point or you can say node mcu hotspot now we can use this ip address 192.168.4.1 to connect with our mqtt broker so i'm going to open the mqtt explorer software okay so this is my mqtt client software and i can go to node mcu and here I can provide the IP address which is 192.168.4.1 okay and port number 1883 okay bad username or password because we haven't provided this username and password to connect with our MQTT broker so we have to provide this username and we have to provide this password to connect with our MQTT broker okay so here is the username okay and here is the password okay and we will press on connect okay we are successfully connected with our node mcu mqtt broker okay so whatever we want to do in this video okay that has been done so we have used our node mcu board to set up the wi-fi access point or you can say the wi-fi hotspot and we have used our a windows machine to connect with that wi-fi okay and we have used this mqtt explorer software which is mqtt client software to connect with that mqtt broker running inside our node mcu board also i can open another mqtt explorer software okay and uh, i can go to node mcu esp8266 i can copy the ip address 192.168.4.1 192.168.4.1 the username is admin and the password is password okay and i have to change the client id otherwise it won't connect so i am adding two random number here and then we are going to connect and we are successfully connected with our uh, mqtt broker running inside our node mcu board okay so let's exchange the data so i'm going to publish some data on the test topic okay the data is one two three and here we will receive the data also i can publish the data on same topic from another client which is four five six and publish okay we are receiving the data in the first client so this is how you can use your node mcu board to act as an mqtt broker with security and with wi-fi access point so you don't have to rely on any external wi-fi okay so we are just removing the external wi-fi and we are setting up the wi-fi in node mcu board so each of our mqtt client can directly connect with our node mcu board and they can exchange the data via mqtt broker running inside the node mcu board so i hope this thing is clear also you can extend this project to create the web page okay so already we have set up the wi-fi access point in the node mcu board so you can also set up the web page from where you can configure the ip address of your node mcu board you can also configure the tcp port for your mqtt broker you can also add the user for your mqtt broker okay so all those things you can do by creating the web page or by extending the project okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere all the social media link is available on our website and uh, i will provide this code in the description of this video you can go to our website and you can copy the code from there and you can use it okay so let's meet in the future videos okay till then take care Goodbye and thank you.